Hi everyone. Today I am going to tell you a beautiful story and this one is a very short story. This is about Vedavati. You know who is Vedavati? And uh, Vedavati was the main cause of the death of Ravana. So let me tell you. You know, once Ravana was roaming around the earth. After going so many, after visiting so many places, he went to Himalayan. While he was roaming around uh, on the Himalayan forest, that time he saw a beautiful young lady was doing meditation. That too severe penance. He couldn't understand and by that time looking at uh, her beauty, he was completely uh, lost his sense and he thought of I mean, he became very desirous to make her, uh, to make that lady his own consort. So that is why he came near to that lady and asked the old lady, Oh beautiful one, what were you are doing so much hard penances? And that too all alone in this Himalayan forest. Then Vedamati immediately, that too Ravana also said, look, you are young, you are so beautiful and you are fit to be a queen and if you agree, I want to marry you. Then Vedavati said, Ki, O Ravana, I am the daughter of uh, Kusadhvaja. Kusadhvaja is my father and he is son of um, Brihaspati. And my father was constantly chanting the Vedas at that time I was born and that is why I means I was born from that uh, speech and that is why he has given my name Vedamati. And yes, you know what, when I came to my marriage village, that time my father saw so many uh, persons but he didn't, uh, means he didn't like anyone and ultimately he told me, Ki, oh Vedavati, only I think Lord Vishnu is the Lord Vishnu will be your husband. You pray to him and you worship him so that you will marry Lord Vishnu only. You are fit for him. Thus I came to uh, the Simale and I am doing uh, severe penances to get Lord Vishnu as my husband. And oh, the, uh, Ravana, I know you are grandson of Paulastar, you see, and you are also uh, the son of Rishi Bishrava. And yes, remember my my uh, father is a Brahmarshi. When uh, uh, Ravana heard all these things from Vedavati, he immediately said, Ki, oh lady, who is, Ravana, uh, who is Vishnu, who is that uh, Narayana? Why unnecessarily you are worshipping him? You come to me so that you will be the queen of thousands of other queens and you will be the uh, my men means Patarani and not only that thousands of maids will at your service and I will give you whatever you want and you will get heavenly pleasure. So why you are unnecessarily thinking of that Vishnu? Who is that? When Ravana said this and uh, Vedavati said Ki what may come only I will marry to Vishnu and you are not supposed to say a single word, uh, filthy word against Lord Vishnu. And I think I should not live anymore. And by that time, Ravana got hold of her uh, and he wanted to take her forcibly. He got hold, he became so desirous that he couldn't control his sense and he got hold of her hair. As he got hold of, of her hair, Vedavati immediately cut off her hair from that portion and that turned to a very sharp sword. And yes, Vedavati, after that, before uh, she lit the fire and she said, Ki no more I want to leave. As you cut all my hair, I am going to burn myself. And look, remember Ravan, I will be the cause of your death. I will burn again to a very pious king and I will be the cause of your death. Thus, she also mentioned that because of her yogic power, she knew who Ravana was. Anyways, thus Vedavati 
lit the fire and burnt herself. So this is the story about Vedavati and uh, whenever I will get this type of short story, once again I will meet you. Thank you so much till then. And yes, remember one thing, when I say some uh, stories, I do mistakes. So please ignore my mistakes and watch the content. Thank you so much.